Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic wherever you are in the world. I'm actually sitting on my back porch editing a video in regard to Katie Joy and all her different reasons as to why she is not in this docuseries. Who was to blame, who's not to blame, when, where, how and all those shenanigans. Which seems to be an absolutely long video. I just received a message and I felt I had to let you guys know this ASAP. So I'm um, taking time away from that video recording this video. Also, I figured this would be the perfect time to do this giveaway because maybe about a week ago or so, maybe even two weeks, I was actually watching the Nick Snyder and Dustin Daly's video and I found out that Miss Emily D. Baker has a collab with Gerard Cosmetics and I knew I had to support both these beautiful ladies. So I went ahead and ordered the set so one of you guys will be able to win it and I also did order some for my girls because they absolutely love Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss and especially the mirror on it. There's not much to enter the giveaway, just be subscribed, leave a comment and that is it. I will leave the link to Gerard Cosmetics in my description if you'd like to go ahead and order for yourself and also if you use the code of Emily's, I think it's Law Nerd, you'll also be able to save some bucks so that's a plus. But as I said, I'll leave all that in the description box. Congratulations to Miss Emily D. Baker, wishing her continued success. And to Miss Jen Gerard, she is absolutely a sweetheart. Before we get into this, my usual disclaimer, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Let's get into this little bit of information. And the timing could not have been better because I was sitting here, as I said, on my back porch editing my video. And it's going to be a long one. Because, you know, when you go to... Prove Katie Joy and her lies. You gotta come with the seats. But when Katie Joy made her video explaining why she was not part of the docu series, I knew that was a calculated move because it was announced and I was informed on Twitter by the lovely Northern Girl. And thank you so much once again for that. That two of the producers from Shiny Happy People will be doing an AMA on the Douglas Nor credit and. In my opinion, Katie Joy just wanted to get ahead of the game. Yesterday, Tuesday, May 6, Katie Joy made this post on her Twitter trying to shame one of the producers and she states, This is a serious topic, Corey. Glad to know you're answering questions in a hate forum. Shiny happy people produces smiling and happy to answer questions in a forum that is known to harass, mock and ridicule survivors and victims of abuse in fundamentalism. Um, Katie Joy, might I add, also a forum that you borrowed a lot of information from, in my opinion. I used to snark on this world until I knew better. There is nothing funny about abuse. Cut the bullshit, Katie Joy. You still don't know any better. Reddit is a platform that is known to target and dox public figures. Subreddit mocks Joy's intelligence with a flair. Explain to me like... I'm Dollar Joy. Talk about mocking Joy. Didn't you tell people not to watch her content because Jim Bob benefits from her content? From her vlogging channel? Snarking isn't funny and going into this forum on such a heavy topic is so insulting to survivors of the IBLP. I want to talk about insulting to the survivors. How about you stop lying about the survivors and trying to shame survivors? which I will go further into in the next video that's coming out. So, Katie Joy, take your own advice. The docu-series is not a happy time for people, and this look is a bad one. You know what's a bad look, Katie Joy? The way you are manically posting about this docu-series and how you're trying so hard to put negativity on it because you cannot handle the rejection. You win some, you lose some. you part of some, you exclude it from some. Get over it. By the way, the two coward that Kate Joy is, she actually moved this post. And then during the Douglas Knock Reddit AMA, the question was asked, and might I also add in a very professional and classy way. Hi, two questions. Do you consider including anything about the Fates family or other funny families? Did you consider free treating Katie Joy or without a crystal ball? She seems to be peeved that she wasn't included. Ha uh ha. -huh. WOACB answer. We were covering multiple topics and obviously only needed a few experts in each. 
We choose to prioritize people with lived experience who are also subject matter experts where possible. Brooke, Eve, Alex, who are from the fundamentalism background, but also are writers slash experts, for instance. We wanted to give Joel the space to be the expert on our own experience, obviously. We had quite a few amazing Dugger Space experts from Snoctopia as possibilities to cover that topic. We wanted to keep our subject list small enough that the audience would really get to know them over the series. Jen was perfect for us to comment on so many issues in a really thoughtful way. And that said without taking anything away from any other expert. I think every expert wondered why they didn't get contacted or ultimately chosen. It wasn't anything personal. It's just the nature of making a project like this. I think it's really hard when you feel you're a deep subject matter expert or you have personally survived something like this and you aren't the one telling the story when it hits the biggest public forum so far. I have empathy for that. In fact, Brooke, I hope you don't mind me telling the story, was making her own doc for years when I called her and said, Hollywood is making this babe. Are you in or out? With my full Hollywood producer voice and cigar. It was heartbreaking for her. This is something so personal that she worked on for so long and she hadn't finished it yet. She had to make a decision about whether to participate in hours or not. I'm so glad she did, but it wasn't an easy decision. I read something, I wish I could remember who wrote it, who said, watching shiny happy people was like watching someone else tell your own personal story, but yelling it out loud in their voice. Katie Joy needs to let it go. Like I say in my upcoming video, Katie Joy is in the wrong line of work. She claims to have this thick skin. This clearly proves she doesn't and Katie Joy needs to stop the bullshit of how she cares about the victims. That is bullshit. Katie Joy does not care about anybody else but herself and how others see her and what other people think about her. She may say that she doesn't care. She's not worried what other people say. Oh no, she does. Before I go, let me just address this person. And as you guys can see, this person felt the need to let me know how I am harassing Katie Joy and that she is going to report me. In future, please, you don't need to tell me that you're going to report me. Only if you need something from me in order to report me, feel free to contact me. If there's anything you need from me, I'll be glad to give it to you. This is not harassment. This is just stating the facts about Katie Joy, how she lies how she treats people and how she's just all about herself and nobody else. So in future, feel free to report me, do what you need to do. This in my opinion is not harassment. But other than that, thank you guys so much for taking the time and watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Please don't forget to enter the giveaway. As I said, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know where I can contact you if you do win. I'll leave this open until Friday. I will announce the winner. By Saturday morning, you should be notified if you are the winner. Congratulations once again to Miss Emily D. Baker and Miss Jen Gerard. Two amazing women. If you have not watched Shiny Happy People, it is streaming on Amazon Prime. Absolutely fantastic, heartwarming, gut wrenching at times. Like I said, I am still editing my video of Katie Joy and all the different reasons why she was not and who was to blame for why she is not in the docuseries. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Please be safe out there. Be kind to one another and don't forget, make good memories. Bye beautiful people.